All right, we're gonna try something new here. I'd love to make a video to break down what's happening in these two photos, the changes in progress that's being made, why these photos are important, and also I've written an entirely different message in the post down below. So watching this video and reading this post, I hope will help serve you well. So first of all, let, let's break this down. Uh, whether you're new here or you've been following us for a while, chances are high you've seen a showcase results of people bending forward. So let's break that down. The bend forward is one of the six assessments that I teach people in the pain assessment toolkit to help them actually take a look at what happens when their body moves. Now, an assessment has two major benefits. First of all, an assessment can help you take a step outside of just what you can feel and actually observably and objectively look at how the right side is moving compared to the left side. This observational skill set alone can really help you shift your attention away from not just how do I make my back or my knee feel better or how do I get rid of hip pain, but wow, this side is moving entirely different than this side. How do I fix that problem and then watch what happens to your painful movement problem? So an assessment can really help you change what you're actually focusing on. Aside from the objective part of the assessment at the start, the real power I believe in assessing comes 30, 60, 90, 180 days into the program when you can start comparing your original assessments to your current assessments. That way you can objectively see is range of motion changing, is muscular development changing, is balance and function, are they starting to change? And what we're seeing in these photos is a beautiful example of what that change looks like. In the photo on the right, I'm sorry, in the photo on the left, what we're seeing is when he went to bend forward, the right pelvis moved differently than the left, the right pelvis elevates, the rib cage shifts over to the left side, and the right side of his lower back is rotated and elevated. Not only that, but we can actually see how the muscles have developed differently over time due to this imbalance. Well, over here on the photo on the right, after some 500 days of doing our routines and learning the movements and, and every day bringing himself down to the ground to ask the right side and the left side to start cooperating and moving better together, we're seeing that the scoliosis has been reduced, the rib cage rotation has been reduced, the muscular imbalance has visibly been reduced, his pelvis is more level, and he's coming straight down the middle with significantly less rib cage rotation. We are talking about massive progress being made in such a simple, observable assessment. So I hope this video helps break down what's actually happening here and why the bend forward is a great way, or photos of how you bend forward is a great way to track and monitor